This short video is about adding locations to your voice map tour, which is the next step after drawing your route line. Locations are where audio is added in the voice map app using GPS. This makes them the building blocks of your tour. To get started, click on Add Location. When you click on the map, you won't get a node that extends the route line like you did in step 1. You'll get a pin with a circle around it instead. You can also add in a location by searching for it by name or by entering its latitude and longitude in decimal form. Give the location a name and click Save. Locations can be moved by clicking on the red pins and dragging them. But the trigger zone, where audio plays, is the entire circle around the pin, not just the pin itself. You can adjust the radius of the trigger zone to make it smaller or larger. But GPS accuracy is sometimes unreliable, and we recommend sticking with the default size when you're getting started. The audio of voice locations starts when listeners enter the trigger zone and continues until the end of the track. It doesn't stop when listeners leave the trigger zone. There are also music locations, which work a little differently. Read about them in our documentation if you would like to find out more. Add locations at points of interest and wherever directions are needed. If your route takes a left turn, for instance, add a location marker at that turn. As you add in locations, you'll see them appear in sequence on the left of the screen. If you have lots of locations, you'll have to scroll down to see all of them. Can you see that there are numbers next to the megaphone icon displayed below each location's title? These are the maximum talk time and word count, and we base these estimates on the distance between this location and the next one, following the route line. This is why you'll only get accurate talk times and word counts if you make sure locations are exactly on the route line. It's best to imagine the listener moving most of the time, instead of thinking of locations as a series of stops. So if it takes two minutes to walk from one location to the next, you shouldn't talk for longer than that. And the same goes for the word count of your script. If you want to talk for longer or point something out, tell the listener to stop and then tell them to start walking again. To delete a location, you can either click on the location on the map or click on the three dots next to the location's name in the list, then select delete. You can also clone a location, which will make an exact duplicate of it, or hide a location. This only hides the location on the map temporarily. It will still be visible to listeners when they take the tour. Locations can be added, deleted, and renamed later on if necessary. And it's normally best to get a rough outline of the route in place first, before you worry too much about the content of any single location. That comes next, when we move over to the Your Script tab. 